A Marquette man takes pride in beautifying the downtown area and overnight his work was destroyed. Now I'm joined in the studio by Fox CP reporter Rachel Droz who has more about the story. Rachel. Thanks, Ben. Phil Nemisto is known by many who frequent downtown Marquette. You'll find him washing windows, tending to flowers he planted in a pocket park, or just having a cup of coffee. Phil is our unofficial downtown ambassador. He is an incredible community member. He cares about the downtown. He cares about people in the community. This morning, Phil Nemisto woke up to find the flowers he planted downtown had been trampled. Well, it looks like somebody broke my arm or something, you know? Something like you've been injured, you know. Yeah. Word spread around town about the vandalism. I just can't imagine anybody being so destructive and so vicious as to do something like that. I mean, he he gives of his time, he gives of his own money. I mean, people help him, but he does it out of love, just to make the, the city more beautiful. The community was quick to step in. A flower shop in Harvey donated flowers to help replenish the beds. It's just a welcome to be able to help. Nico Kirk Landscapes and Harvey took Nemisto's order and in less than an hour delivered three flats to him free of charge. I think we can just sit them right over on the ground. Well, I appreciate the response I've got. It gets me the will to go back and do my thing over and, and straighten things out and keep on doing it. See? You don't want to walk away from something like that because then you've been, all you do is hurt yourself. So keep on working and enjoying it. That's tomorrow. And people in the community appreciate the work Nemisto puts in to make Marquette a beautiful place to live. We enjoy the visitors as well as, yeah. as the college kids and the community members. And we're just grateful for all that come visit. And we're grateful for Phil to continue to take care of this uh, wonderful community area. Just a couple hours later, and Nemisto had the park looking beautiful again. Now I got a water in if you have any information on the incident, contact the Marquette Police Department at 228-0400. Is there any type of security in that pocket park? There is not at the moment, um, but they're hoping that security cameras do get installed because this isn't the first time that this has happened. Yeah, hopefully this uh, brings a little light to it. Thanks, Rachel.